Halima radiyallahu anha took the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on her donkey and began her way back to the countryside. Halima radiyallahu anha's donkey was usually weak and slow. But when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was with her, the donkey was strong. Subhanallah. Her donkey overtook all of the other caravans. All of the other tribe members were shocked. They couldn't believe it. How could such a lifeless donkey become so strong and fast? When they arrived at the countryside, Halima radiallahu anha's camel started producing more milk than ever. It was amazing. Halima radiallahu anha had never been happier. Two years later, Halima radiallahu anha returned to Mecca. When she saw Amina, the Prophet's mother, she asked her to allow Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to stay with her until he is strong. Amina agreed. Halima was so eager to keep him. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is now four years old. He has become good friends with many children in the countryside. When the Prophet was playing with two other boys, two angels came and opened the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's chest. They removed the black parts of his heart and said, this is your portion of shaitan. They cleaned his heart with zemzam water twice and then returned it back to his chest. The two children ran to Halima radiallahu anha, screaming. Halima radiallahu anha went outside to see Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam on the floor. The colour of his face had completely changed. The two children told her he had been killed. Halima radiallahu anha's husband said, we must return him to his mother before any bad happens. Halima radiallahu anha agreed and took him back to Mecca where she would meet back up with Amina.